Hey guys, good morning. Um, I don't know how many days of quarantine we've been in or stay at home, whatever you want to call it, but it's been over a month now. Um, Grayson's going upstairs, but I wanted to show you, I finally put his little kitchen together and wow, this was really hard to do. Um, I had to like cut everything apart. It all came like together and I had to like drill into it with several screws, which was really hard to do. Um, I also had to put like stickers on stuff. Like it was just a big project, but it's done. Although you can totally tell that I put it together because this is like supposed to be flush and like you can see it's like this side is different than this but hey that's what happens when I put things together but other than that this actually turned out really cute again I got this at Walmart on Black Friday and it comes with like a phone it's got utensils it has like a mini strainer how adorable is this um you can like move this you, you, like it comes with little pots and they already have food in them so you can pretend this is adorable it's a mini like, look how cute, like cupcake tin. Um, it's got a microwave and an oven. <laughs> this keeps going out. And it comes with like a bunch of other like utensils and plates. So it's actually really cute. Um, Gray plays with it a little bit, but I think he doesn't really understand a lot. It's like exactly how to play with it, but like as time goes on, I think he will get it, but it's actually really cute. Just a lot of work to put together. We really don't have much going on today, but I thought I would just vlog because I haven't been vlogging very much because <clears throat> there's not much to talk about, but supposedly today in Ohio, they're going to be making an announcement about what's going to happen May 1st when our state opens back up. So I'm excited to hear about that. I'm officially over 20 weeks now, so I'm past the halfway point. So I'm very excited to be nearing towards, well, towards the second end of my pregnancy. Although that's just when it gets harder, especially in the third trimester. But anything has to be better than um, that nausea that I felt in the beginning, because that was hard. But I think I should go find Gray, because he went upstairs, and make sure he's not waking Anthony up. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if I showed you Grayson playing with this little farm Nana. toy that he got for his birthday, but he is obsessed Nana. with it. Midnight animals. I kind of had to show him. Midnight chicken. chicken. I kind of had to show him like how to play with Nana. this thing. So I was like, look, the animals go to the night horse. I was like, the animals go to night and then they wake up and then they eat. Where's their food? There it is. Who's going to eat dinner? The pig, okay. Hi, nom, nom, nom. I'm nom nom nom. <laughs> you like making those noises. And who's getting the corn? Who's eating? Is it the farmer? Hi, nom, nom, nom. I'm nom nom nom. He loves this toy. I totally recommend it. If I think they said it was for ages for two to five, so it lasts a while. Um, yeah, it, I've seen it at Target. I'm sure like Walmart anywhere has it. He really likes it. He's still trying to like figure out everything to do with it. But yeah, he definitely plays with this the most. Um, he hasn't gotten into this little pirate ship too much yet, but I'm sure eventually he will. But for now, he'll. Good night, chicken. So yeah, he really likes this toy. We're on a morning walk. Oh, you need to hold Mama's hand. Hold my hand. I'm trying to teach him to hold my hand when we cross the street. He does it sometimes. <laughs> we are going on a walk in our neighborhood. Oh, hold Mama's hand. Good. So yes, we're on a morning walk. No one is out. It's a little chilly, it's like mid 50s. Not even 11 yet. I'm just trying to get his energy out. Can't go to the park because you can't play on the playground. So yeah, we're just walking. Jason likes to pick up the rocks. And he finds some people sidewalks. Yeah, 
three, four, shut the door. Rock, five, six. Pick up sticks. <laughs> Seven, eight. Lay them straight. Nine, ten. Nine, ten. Do it again. That's the end. We're just on our little walk down our street. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. Five, six. Pick up sticks. Seven, eight. Lay them straight. Nine, ten. Do it again. So I just turned on some Sesame Street for Grayson. Um, they have it on the on demand, which is really nice because usually when Sesame Street comes on, he's taking a nap, so he miss it. Yeah, you take a nap. He's enjoying some chocolate Teddy Graham crackers. I change it between getting him chocolate gra Teddy Bear crackers, Teddy Graham crackers, whatever you want to call them. And I get him the like normal Graham cracker ones too. I like the chocolate ones better. I think they taste pretty good. Um, which is funny because I really don't like chocolate. But I guess I like chocolate flavoring, but I don't really care for like chocolate like Hershey's or M&M's or anything like that. Um, I'm making dinner. I'm making spaghetti, super fancy. I'm just browning the meat. I need to put these in the um, oven and um, heat them up. Um, I know some people heat the noodles up on the stove. We just do it in the microwave. Um, it just makes it easier for me, I think. And it works out just fine, so doesn't seem to bother Anthony or me. I think it tastes just fine. Um, before I met Anthony, when I had spaghetti, I, I well, when I made it, I never put the meat in it. I didn't know if you were supposed to do that. And then when I met Anthony, he was like, yeah, of course you do. And so now we put the meat in it, and it's fine. But I just put a lot of noodles in because I really like the noodles and the sauce. And then we also put this um, five cheese Texas toast. And we put that in. It only goes in the oven for like eight minutes. And it's really good. And I've tried the other kinds because Texas Toast is a couple of them. The five cheese is the best. I haven't liked any of the other ones. So if you want a new bread to try, try that. When I was little, um, my mom used to make us what we called was fancy bread. Which was literally just like bread. Like from the loaf of bread. And we would put butter on it and then we would um, broil it in the oven for a couple minutes so it get like a little toasty and that was our fancy bread so this is definitely a step up from fancy bread but I still like fancy bread I'll still make it here and there Anthony is not impressed with it though so that's usually why we go with the Texas toast so yeah that's what I'm doing right now very it's not very exciting we also put a couple of spices in our meat Salt and pepper. We do some crushed red pepper flakes, which I'm looking for now. Um, and some garlic and onion. We used to like crush up real garlic and real onion and put it in here, but that is too much work. <laughs> so we just usually do like, we have like garlic powder or we even have a garlic salt. Same with the onion. And we'll just put a little bit of that in there. Um, you can definitely tell when I forget to put the spices in, which I do here and there, especially now that I'm pregnant. Um, but I didn't forget this time. So that was good. I'm just kind of bored. Anthony's working on something upstairs, and so I wanted someone to talk to, so I thought I would talk to you guys, because why not while I'm making... Um, while I'm making dinner. Sorry, this might be really zoomed in. I need to get a better um, like stand for my camera because my current one stinks. 
Yeah, so we're just making dinner. Gray has already had dinner, but Anthony and I, he, Grayson, he wanted dinner at 4.30 today. He just now gets into his high chair and sits in it and looks at me. So he got in it at 4.30. So I already fed him, so Anthony and I are gonna eat a little later because who's hungry at 4.30? <laughs> so that's why I'm making dinner now. It's like five now, so. But I wanted to tell you guys, I talked about earlier how we were waiting for the press conference today with our governor because they were gonna announce plans on how they're gonna open up Ohio. Um, and so we waited and then the press conference came at two o'clock like it does every day. And it turned out that they didn't announce the plan today. They're not announcing it until Monday. <laughs> so that's really annoying. Um, we were all set and ready for it. I don't know why I'm so into it because it's not like I really have a business, but you know, it gives me something to look forward to, something to anticipate. But no, they had no plan. All they did was talk to us about how to um, wash our hands and to disinfect surfaces to get rid of the virus, which I could have I could have said that. Everyone knows that, but whatever. So now we have to wait for Monday for this um, plan to come out. And supposedly a week from tomorrow, on May 1st, um, we will be opening Ohio back up. Slowly, but we will be opening it back up. So stay tuned, I'll update you guys once we get the plan. But for now, there is no plan. The other bummer is that this, the plan is gonna be hap or being released on Monday, like I said, in a couple days. And of course, Monday, right as the plan's gonna get released, I have my doctor's appointment. So I'm not even gonna be able to like watch it get released, which it's not that big of a deal. I can always go back and watch it, or I'm sure people are gonna be posting the guidelines. But I'm so bummed I'm not going to be able to watch it because I'm going to be at my doctor's appointment. I am really excited for my doctor's appointment because I get to, it's the anatomy scan, but what a bummer. So, that's just, you know, I don't have much to look forward to during this quarantine situation. So, I finally have something to look forward to and, you know, coincides with something else that I'm looking forward to. So, bummer. I reintroduced Grayson to the laptop. He likes it a lot more now. He's not so scared of it. <laughs> it's actually cooler than I thought. I thought it was just a laptop, but you can actually turn the screen around, that blue thing in the middle, that blue thing right there, and it becomes a tablet, and then you can make it into a touch screen. So it's actually really, really cool. It teaches letters and numbers, and Grayson is starting to like it the more that he gets comfortable with it and the more that he knows what to do with it. So yeah, it's actually really cool. It is LeapFrog, so you know, they're really educational and pretty good gifts. So yeah, we're actually really liking that laptop, thankfully. We just stay away from the letter V. You want a hug? your jammies on now? Uh, he does not care for jammies. He just wants to be naked. Uh, so Grayson's been doing this uh, new thing where he'll stand on the other side of the room for me and he'll say, hug. <laughs> and I'll say, you want a hug? And then he just rushes me <laughs> and gives me a hug and it's super cute. I was like, oh yeah, I need to get this on video. And it ha usually happens whenever I want to um, get him dressed. He does this hug thing like he thinks it's going to distract me or something. But, yeah, it's almost bedtime. So we're just winding down in Grayson's room. We've got puzzles all on the floor. You want a hug? <gasps> oh. <laughs> he's got some socks. I don't know why he's eating them, but he is. You're crazy. He's got a lot of energy for it being his bedtime. But yeah, I think that's going to be it 
for today. Hopefully I recorded enough for a vlog. There's just not much going on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!